mister. You know what? I'm feeling good today. I'm glad to hear it. Ladies. Nice people around here. I'll be tending to you shortly. What would you like to send? Liberty is worth every penny. The train conductor who comes through here says he's been finding new Let me know if you got questions of the homeward bound in his cars. Ain't no surprise, that's just the world. You might like this, The Legend of Josiah Blackwater. Give it a try. Can I buy a ticket, please? Make your way through the doors on either side of me. I'm sure know about our great national hero and pioneer, Josiah Blackwater. Him that gave the town of Blackwater its nomenclature. You see, only about a hundred years ago, were not nothing here but big old force, ferocious beasts, surly savages, arid deserts, and unconquered mountains. The West, well, the whole West was untamed. Your mama probably told you bedtime stories about Josiah's many adventures. But I'm going to tell you a story you ain't likely to have heard about his possum hat. Now, Josiah Blackwater was born in the year of our Lord, 1782, in a log cabin just west of Ansburg. He was a special boy. His pa gave him his first rifle when he was three years old. Boy, he took to it right away. He exclaimed, There's a whole mess of critters out there in the woods. I mean to eat us. I'm going to consume them first. Yes, sir. He really took to killing all manner of things. He was such a keen shot. One morning, he was sorting up some winter turnips for the root cellar when a big old bear and her cubs came in the kitchen hunting for food. It had a mind to eat up all the jams and preserves. Josiah grabbed that bear and wrestled her to the ground and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. He whooped the tar clean out of that big old critter. Then he tied her up, grabbed them cubs, and ground them into sausages while the mama bear watched. Mm, that's fine eating. His mom and pa knew right then he was cut out to be the finest wild frontiersman that ever drew breath. But first, they wanted him to get some book learning. After only three days of attending school, Josiah beat the living daylights out of a class bully and announced to his daddy that he was tired of ciphering and mathematics on account it's only good for adding up the number of critters or Indians you can kill. So he ran away from home and headed west. Now these lands were occupied by savages then, and when Josiah Blackwater came scouting through, he recognized it to be a land of splendor, wasted on those that couldn't appreciate it on account of worship and false idols. He got rid of all them pesky buffalo, and thereby ensured those infernal engines didn't have nothing to eat. Of course, that got them mightily riled up, so he had to slaughter all of them too. Just like his daddy had once done to the Redcoats in 1775. Right about that time, he met an Indian girl he took pity on, on account of having annihilated her family. 
she was 12 years old. And so, he took her as his wife. She gave him two sons before she died of typhus. Now, y'all know that Josiah Blackwater wore a possum for a hat. But most don't know how that came to be. Well, one day, old Josiah was riding a couple of alligators down the Lanahatchee River. Riding, standing up, and shooting eagles right out of the sky. When he sees a big old mountain lion about to eat a possum. Josiah grabbed that mountain lion by the tail and wrestled it till it was plumb dead. Well, that possum really took to Josiah. Followed him around like a dog loyal to its master. Yes, they had a lot of adventures together. Now, Josiah never cried a day in his life, but he pert near dead on the day that possum passed. For they were mighty fine friends. So he skinned it and made it into a hat. Back in them days, a possum skin was as good as money. But he never parted with that hat, not even for ten dollars. Once he founded the town of Blackwater, he sent word for settlers to come. It was the last stop in the west before San Francisco. He met a girl by the name of Rufina Hellsby at a barn dance one night. Took her as his wife and settled down. Built himself a cattle empire and had 14 youngins. But Josiah Blackwater wasn't the home-loving kind, and he grew mighty restless. One day on the courthouse steps, he announced, You may all go to hell, and I will go to Saint Denis. And so he did. Enjoyed French pursuit of strumpets and wanton gluttony, which is where he came upon the idea of running for Congress. He wore that possum hat every day as a congressman, as a reminder of where he come from. Saying, I may live in barbaric splendor, but I always remember, keep your friends close and your gun closer, because you don't know when you might have to shoot them. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. You head in there, friend. 
Go on. Can I help you? Oh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, what do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. tell he didn't have a choice he was good and he did good Charles, how are you coping? I'm, uh, okay. Uh-huh. All right. Good work, girl.
starting to wish we'd stayed on Guam. I didn't lead them here, Morgan. I swear it. Uh, it don't matter either way. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. All right. Yeah, Morgan. Good to see you again, Mr. Strauss. But under what circumstances? Ah, uh, no. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Yeah. This is what it's come to, huh, Mary Beth? Hi, Karen. You okay, Abigail? What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. I know. I'll speak to Dutch. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, all right. How are you doing, Jack? I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. All that shooting. Well, we're gonna move somewhere safe, okay? Okay. Guess I'll leave you to all it, All right, then. I guess. Hi, Jack. Some reunion, I'll huh? for you, Jack. Well, at least you're alive. So what now? You got a couple of days to work that out. Well, try to keep your head straight. All right. It's good to see you again, despite the circumstances. You too. But what do we do now? We need to move. As soon as possible. We've got a couple of days. Good to see you again, Karen. Where's Molly, by the way? Nobody's seen her in ages. Good riddance, I say. Huh. Okay. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure, Arthur. Okay. Guess I'll see you later, then. Uh-huh. Yeah, Arthur. Reverend? Good to see you again. You too. But this is a mess. A real mess. I uh, know. Well, try to keep your head straight. All right. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? <laughs> Never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, 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 I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, <gasps> what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish.
You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat mine. You are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. As you wish. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Well, anyway, I must focus on the work at hand. Morning, Goodbye, hey, mister. I have already taken Morning, up far too much of your time. Certainly am glad you feel so good about it. Oh! 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 What the hell? How did that happen? Oh! Is someone down oh. there? Oh. Oh, I got some in my mouth. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, I am so Come sorry. On. I didn't Come think on, anyone man. would Shit stay splatter. in there. Oh, it's you. Are you all right, mon ami? You know we have a good doctor in town. Yes, I already saw him. Ah, okay. Très bien. In that case, how may I help you? something to post if you wouldn't mind coughing in your sleeve sir i really can't afford to get sick again this month why don't you just do your job uh, of course sir sorry it's just a polite request is all enjoy your destination
need is each other. That's what you said. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh... Let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. Stay quiet and still watch me. Oh! Oh. Got it. Oh! Good shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. Uh, how do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and 
Pull the skin away, quickly. Should come right off. I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure, I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh yes, at least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I'd barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Whoa, stay back! Just to smell the dead rabbit. You see, if, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. I still can't believe he's gone. Go on, girl. Stay, girl. So, it's Chicago you came from? That's right. Have you been? Yeah, I've passed through a couple times. Business or pleasure? Business, you could say. Banking, mostly. Oh, really? Cal was in banking, too. Uh, I doubt we crossed paths. I was more on the withdrawal side. Oh, right. <laughs> You're teasing me. Yeah, something like that. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. Charles. How are you doing? I've been better. Hopefully we still got a way out of this. All right. Thank you. 
Simpson. Hey, Arthur. How you doing with all this? Hanging in there. Uh-huh. Okay, Arthur. Good to see you again, Uncle. So, Molly ain't around? No, not for a while now. You boys sure returned with a bang. And we always seem to these days. Well, try to keep your head straight. Uh-huh. Glad to be home. I almost wish we were back in Guarma. I know. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Sure, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Yep. Hi, Arthur. Hi, Mary Beth. How are you, Cole? All right, considering. We'll be all right. Uh-huh. Yeah, Arthur. Hello. Hi, Jack. How are you doing? I hate this place. Oh, I wish I knew what to tell you. Okay. Hi, Tilly. <sighs> Hello. How you doing with all this? I live, I suppose. Just keep your fingers crossed. Sure. Place is getting to me. How are you doing? Well, I'll soldier through. We'll be all right. Whatever. You okay? Oh, hi, Arthur. Abigail. Pretty bad. How you doing with all this? I'm fine. Been through worse, I guess. Just keep your fingers crossed. Uh-huh. How are you doing? Not good. Just try to stay strong. All right.
I don't know who's dumber, you, Ethan, Edgar, or Ezra. Keep telling you, Ma, we'll get you a new place. Anything you want. Ain't like we're short on money. I don't want a new place. I got everything I need right here. How many times, Elijah? Shut your mouth or I shut it for you. These four on that list. Ah! What are you now? doing? Let me go, bastard! This is uh, very <laughs> kind you, of you. You dirty son of a bitch! <sighs> you dumb bastard! <sighs>
You'll be all right. Here we go. Got a good head start on me. Ain't close. Hey, mister. Hello there. Hello there. Hello. You must like living here. How about that? All the best now.
there. How are you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm going to learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus. Breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Whew. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Match at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side. <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. Come on, come on. Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. But I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Oh. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> it was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. <laughs> then we came out here, and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um, 
<coughs> well, thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. I'll show you. This could take a while. be a way off. Getting close. Don't take long.
Whoa. 